I had to take a drug test to get health insurance. Could you believe that? I walk in, I pee in a cup. Doctor comes in, he's like, oh, we found marijuana in your system. I'm like, great, I've been looking for it all day. Did you find the cocaine? Because I'm really tired. White people, I like this. Not even a Latino. I like Latinos, they know how to party. I was salsa dancing, I thought it was hot. I was dancing and dancing, I'm like, ooh, this is great. I bump into this guy, he's like, Buta, I'm like, thank you. <laughs> My friend's like, Jody, he just called you a hoe. I'm like, great party. <laughs> a woman called me a whore. I was on a bus stop. I bump into her, she's like, whore. I'm like, thanks for labeling me, lady. Now I'm gonna grab your crotch and demand some money. How about that? That's all you have for me, a whore? Guy who, like, you call a guy a whore, they don't care, you know? You, guys announce it, guys will just be like, yeah, I'm going out and get me some ass tonight. Everyone's like, wow, what a hero. <laughs> Imagine a woman standing up like, yeah, I'm going out and get me some tonight. Everyone be like, no, sit down, ho. <laughs> I like you guys. I can't stand people who like to come to comedy clubs and they want clean comedy. Really? Stay home and watch the Christian channel. It's much cheaper. <laughs> Especially moms. People have kids, so all of a sudden, like these women, they get all like politically correct. These moms, they're like, I don't like that. That's dirty. I'm a mom. I'm a mom, I have kids, that's dirty. No one gives a crap that you're a mom, okay? Right now your kid's getting oral sex in a public bathroom, how about that? <laughs> One more person asked me why I don't have kids, that's it, I'm like done with that. Jody, why don't you have kids? Because I have a fear of having kids. Really, you'd make a wonderful mom, what's your fear? A head coming out of my vagina, okay? <laughs> I think that's legitimate, no? I walked out of my house, this woman was staring at me, smiling. She comes over to me, she's like, oh, are you pregnant? I was like, yeah. I was gang raped by a dozen donuts. During questioning, I was like, I don't know what happened. All I know, there were sprinkles everywhere. I kill that woman. Kill her. <laughs> I have cats. All I know is my cats are cock blocking me. Men hate women with cats. I had a guy scream at me, scream at me, Jody, get rid of your freaking cats. I hate them. I'm like, fine, I'll get rid of my two cats. When you get rid of your two kids and your wife, how about that? Oh, look at the 21-year-olds. Oh, yeah, we'll talk in 15 years. You're gonna turn 38, you're gonna go, ah. Now I get it. I'm never getting rid of my cats, are you nuts? I, I, I love my cat. I wake up, this cat's head's on my pillow. He's staring at me, purring. This thing is so cute, all I wanna do is take his face and just kill him, you know? Do you ever love something so much you wanna throw it in front of a truck? That's passion, passion people. Like eating is passion. Anyone who tells you they forgot to eat sucks in bed. <laughs> yes, there's no passion there. Yeah, I don't like to eat, I don't know what happened, I forgot to eat. Well guess what, you eat like a bird, you screw like a bird, okay? <laughs> I forgot to eat. Is that you? All right, I can't talk to you, anyway. Um, <laughs> it's a taping. I'm done. I'm not, I, I want to fall in love. I feel like men don't fall in love. This is the problem. I'm sure all of you men in this room are beautiful people, but when I read the newspaper, according to newspaper and TV, men do not fall in love. They marry women and then they kill them. That's why when I get married, I'm gonna gain 450 pounds. You're not gonna be able to kill me and hide my body. You think you'd be able to kill me and stuff me between a wall? 
No, you're gonna have to get a friend, a truck, and a lot of gardening tools. You try lifting a 600 pound woman and throwing her into a dumpster. My husband ever said to me, Jody, let's go fishing. I'd be like, go screw yourself. I'm not going anywhere, there's no fishing trip. <laughs> but women are hot, they are. And I don't understand why women, women, they, they, you, Women are all catty over each other. I don't get that. Like, we, beautiful women, they go, Neow. no. I love hot women. I love going down to the subway. You see the women with the short shorts. They got their ass hanging out. They got the belly shirts on with their belly ring hanging out. Because if there's a rapist, they're going first. <laughs> Oh yeah, cause you know, when I'm standing there and that guy is staring at me and I'm all vulnerable and a really, really hot chick comes down, I'm like, great, I'm off the hook. Thank you. Oh, I was waiting for you for three hours. You were staring at me, I couldn't take it anymore. And then it goes the opposite way. I don't like that either. I'm on the train. This guy is staring, drooling over these two hot Asian women. I am sitting right next to them. I am completely invisible. I could have been teabagging the guy next to me. He wouldn't have noticed me. For those, those of people who don't know what teabagging is, it's when you put the tea in the water. You see what I'm saying? Because if you don't know that term, you don't deserve to know that term. <laughs> And these two women get up and leave, and then he starts staring at me. I'm like, go screw yourself. I wasn't good enough for you before. You know what it's like competing with hot Asian women in this country? I would eat ping pong balls, shooting out of my snatch with the winning lottery numbers on them. It'd be like 54, oh now you're looking. 36, you're a winner. I love this country. God, can someone kill Sarah Palin already? Kill her, kill. I don't understand her. I don't understand anything about her. I don't understand the things that woman would say. I know foreign affairs. I could see Russia from my window. Well, I could see used condom on the street. Doesn't make me a gynecologist. <laughs> I know I look tough, people. I'm not. I'm not a tough person at all. Like, I know people, people think, you know, oh my God, men get, whoa. I'm just very sensitive. Like, I get to the point, I get very, very sensitive. Like, I get to the point, like, if I call someone up and they don't call me back, I'll call them up. I'm like, hey, it's Jody. I'm returning my phone call. And if you don't call me, I'm coming over.